How's it going everybody? Um, we're out here, just pulled off on the side of the road. As you can see, my car right there. Since uh, beaches are still closed for us here in Hawaii. Um, so yeah, just pulled up to the side of the road and we're gonna shoot the sunrise in this direction. Um, you know, taking a little bit of a different approach today since I don't can't really like get close to the ground on the sands near the water with nice foregrounds. I have my main camera here, the Sony A7R3, set up with my new telephoto lens. Uh, this is the Tamron 70 to 180. Um, doesn't have the reach obviously as like a regular 70 to 200, but the reason I decided to get that one is because it's smaller and lighter than the uh, 70 to 200 G Master. So. It will fit easier in the bag, it'll save my back when I'm hiking, and if I do need more reach to, like, let's say, go to 200 millimeters, I can always crop in with my megapixels. Here comes a car. <laughs> so, uh, right now, if you can take a look at my framing, um, not much going on right now in terms of color. There's kind of just like a nice little orangish, pinkish glow on the horizon. Uh, and we obviously have like the Makapu lighthouse uh, on the right side of my frame so I'm just taking a few shots at this angle uh, not sure if I'll edit them but if they come out good I'll definitely put them up um, the sun should be rising towards the right uh, not the right, to the left of my frame, sorry um, and I'm hoping that as that sun you know, comes out and peaks to the clouds that I'm able to you know, zoom in get a nice sunball shot and, and yeah, that's what I'm trying to go for here I have the other camera set up on the time lapse, and that's good use for my spare uh, <laughs> crop sensor to just like slap on my wide angle lens and then just do a time lapse for it. So I'll put that up too uh, after the sunrise. But yeah, beautiful morning, nice to be out, nice to get the creative juices flowing during lockdown, doing it safely. Obviously, nobody is around over here. Um, but yeah, I'll let you guys know what happens. So one of the things when shooting telephoto that's super important is making sure that you have a stable base. Um, every small little movement of the camera, whether that's from pushing down the shutter or uh, the tripod moving in some way, um, every small little movement is exaggerated with a telephoto lens. So in order to get like the sharpest, most stable shot, uh, you need a tripod. If I had a wide angle, I wouldn't worry about stabilizing it as stabilizing it as much because all the shakes all those small little kind of movements don't really matter as much when your scene is super wide but when you're punched in everything is so exaggerated because you're so zoomed in so every small little movement looks like a gigantic movement on the camera which uh, can make it challenging to get a sharp shot so that's why I got everything in my camera bag inside just sitting in there and just weighing down the tripod from the middle to get the most stable shot possible. Almost time for sunrise. You can see where it's going to pop up from. Hopefully it's a good one. Here and there she is. Time to shoot. Okay, putting you down now. So right now the light is just absolutely beautiful. Um, there's a little bit of hate. There's a little bit of haze in the sky, which kind of helps with uh, creating like a really defined sunball. So it's not just like pure bright light in your face. There's a little bit more definition to the sun. Um, and 
the challenge with sunball shots is that, or shooting directly into the, to the sun in anything really, is that because of the sun rises so quickly that the light gets out of control really fast. So um, I'm just gonna try and like take a few more shots, maybe like shoot a little bit with the light, uh, using the light, uh, because yeah, right now it's just like got too, too out of control because it's just too harsh. Uh, but yeah, still such a beautiful, beautiful morning. So how is this for something that's going to fill up the memory card? Uh, the shot that I have right now, let me show you guys right here on the camera. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but you saw a little bit of those, uh, like, I don't know how to describe it, but basically when the waves are washing up against the rock, it once it hits the rock, it splashes up and creates kind of like this those sea spray that just floats in the air. But because of that golden light that's streaming in, those uh, sea sprays kind of catch the nice golden light. So I'm just pretty much just like blasting my camera whenever I can see a good portion of the of those <laughs> spray clouds things going. Um, and yeah, that's that just is gonna fill up the SD card real quick. <laughs> 45 megapixel, 45, 43 megapixel all the way in. It's gonna be a big import tonight. Um, hey, that's okay. All good. Just enjoying the time using the telephoto lens and enjoying being creative still. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. I think we are just about done shooting. Uh, light's starting to get a little bit too harsh even for the time lapse. Um, but yeah, it's challenging not being able to like go to whatever location it is that you want to go to during this time. But you know, you got to find ways to stay creative during this pandemic. Um, whether that's just like pulling over to the side of the road or staying at home and editing. Um, you know, the outdoors will be open again soon for my Hawaii people as well as other people who are locked down elsewhere around the world. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll replay the shots for you guys now. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you aren't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one.
Good morning, everybody. It's about two minutes till sunrise here in the islands. I'm trying to keep my voice down since I'm still kind of in a residential area. Um, so, stay at home order goes into effect tomorrow. So, it might be like the last day that I go out and shoot like some roadside shots. So, that I don't know. That's technically not against the law, right? I don't know. Somebody correct me if they know. Um, but, got the camera on the time lapse. I'm about to set up the telephoto lens right now. Um, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful area that we're at right now. We're just waiting for some light to hit on the mountains. It's kind of starting to happen already a little bit with some soft um, morning glow. So I'm gonna bust out that telephoto lens and try and you know really pick out a few ridges to, to shoot. Um, I have the wide angle here if I need to switch to it, um, but I don't think I will. I already got the time lapse going, so that's okay. Alrighty, let's head out. Let's get set up and shoot. Oh my god, the light's, the light's starting to go cold. I'm like scrambling to get ready. I'm tangled in vines. There's the sun. I don't know if you guys can see the sunrise. And there's my camera and look at those mountains. So crazy. So, oh god, that's fine. So I decided that this vlog is probably gonna tag along to the previous one that I released, the Makapu one, or the previous one that I recorded, I'm releasing it together. Um, but telephoto photography for landscapes is all about the light. So. Basically, we have a few clouds towards the sun, kind of blocking it so that it's not like the entire ridge is covered in light. Um, but there's these little pockets of light that uh, are around us. And basically, as the light kind of changes across the scene, then you're shooting that pretty much. And I think that for me personally, when I first got my camera, I had obviously like the two kit lenses, right? You got the wide, like 18 to 55, and then the more telephoto, like, I don't know what it was, like a 55 to 200 or something on a crop body, which is pretty telephoto, to, if you ask me. And that used to be like my favorite lens to shoot with, the fact that you could zoom in so tight on something, uh, you know, and, and pick out something that's like, you know, that nobody else really sees because not everybody, you know, visualizes things in telephoto fashion, this branch. Um, but everybody can see a wide angle scene. But I guess like when, the more I got into landscape photography, the more I was drawn to like those grand landscapes, which required that wide angle. Um, so for the longest time, I just shot with a wide angle because I thought, oh, that's the, the only thing that I want to do. But now that I have the telephoto lens, it you know, opens up so much other possibilities that 
uh, you know, that I kind of got went away from in the beginning of my taking landscape photography very seriously. Um, and yeah, it's just nice to get back to it, especially like during this time where I can't really like shoot very much wide angle scenes. Um, having the telephoto to be able to like pick out landscapes, uh, you know, throughout from the having the telephoto to like pick out landscapes uh, from the side of the road is pretty, pretty awesome to have. So while there isn't anything wrong with the wide angle and I still really love to shoot my wide angle scenes, I find that sometimes it can get kind of boring. Um, pretty much all you're really hoping for is that you have a beautiful sky, you have a nice foreground, midground, background, and it's pretty formulaic in terms of like what a photograph is. And it's basically, you're looking for the same type of photograph, the same type of things you're looking for, S curves, you're looking for dramatic light on your scene. Uh, while I'm still I still have very dramatic light here. It's less of a formula. It's less of a process and you know it Having a telephoto lens pretty much like breaks all the rules that You know a traditional landscape photograph photograph looks like and you typically don't think of you know a telephoto lens as a landscape photographer's favorite lens, but uh, the people who have been doing it for a while swear by their telephoto lens and Yeah there's a good reason for it. It kind of just helps you to create images that are more personal. Um, everybody sees the wide angle scene. So if you have a camera set up right next to somebody you're, and you guys are both shooting wide angle, you know, you're pretty much gonna get the same shot or you know, similar looking shots. But where personality and the, I guess, the eye and the aesthetic of the photographer comes out is really when they slap on a telephoto and pick out certain parts of the scene that were really speaking to them. Um, and yeah, when they do that, you can really uh, express more feeling in the photograph, more emotion. Uh, and yeah, just make for overall more compelling landscapes. So let me show you guys the mess I created this morning, scrambling for the sunrise. Um, so have the <laughs> vlogging camera with the wide angle lens on. Tripod number one. Got the time lapse going still. Wide angle lens to crop body. And then there, big boy tripod, full frame telephoto. And then, if you look in the car, holy smokes. Um, basically all that was carried in there and I just ripped it apart. Lens caps everywhere. This is the ND filter that I took off. I've got lens and body caps there. Filters, because I had to steal the filter once the sun got bright for the vlog camera. But <laughs> it's pretty nuts, all of the <laughs> All of this stuff that we I have to go through just to get some dang photos, honestly. Hope you guys like them. I really like these. It's going to be interesting to look through all of them because everything is like so different and so unique. It's going to be hard to choose like a favorite shot. But yeah, thank you guys again for watching. This is sign off number two um, because the whole vlog was just like all over the place today. So I'm throwing it to the end of the other one. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.